Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. We're engaged. I can't believe it. This doesn't feel real. <laughs> if you're new around here, hello. My name's Brogan, and this is my fiance, Benji. We've just come back from Dubai, and Benji got down on one knee on our five year anniversary. I thought I'd on finally the beach. make an honest woman out of you. <laughs> we had the most amazing time, but. I think if you follow us and you've followed us for a long time, you probably saw this coming. It was not a surprise to any of our friends or family and not even to us either because <laughs> we have quite an unconventional story on how we came about to this point. We, and we wanted the whole scenario, we wanted everything leading up to it to be us. Yeah. We didn't want to be led by tradition, we didn't want to do things just because that's how our parents or grandparents have done things. Mm. So we're going to give you some backstory and break this down because... <laughs> Very broad, because <laughs> it happened over like a series of months, didn't it? It really? did, yeah. So we're going to talk to you a bit about the ring and getting the ring and then the actual proposal as well. And then the overall planning that went into it. And yeah. And roughly why we did things yeah. the way we did because... I get, I get it, it's unconventional, it's it's not the norm. We've, we've seen quite a few people that have done it this way, but I get it, it's not traditional. Some so. of you may be surprised and, and yeah, it isn't traditional. When we met each other, I think, I speak for us both, but we knew instantly, like... We deleted Tinder on site, like... On our first profiles, day. Profiles, everything. We deleted our accounts on our first day. Yeah. And I actually have vlog footage of me, I may <laughs> add it in later, of how much I love my first date with Benj and how right it felt. And I remember texting my girlfriends like, I've met my future husband. <laughs> like, I just knew. And I know that that's easy to sit here and say, but we did know. Yeah. When, you know. when you know, you know. Yeah. And we did. We did. And so we've always talked about our life together and wanting to get engaged. And I think it all came to a head in court and we went to Wales, didn't we? We went to Wales, mm. stayed in the cottage and we, I think because you get no signal, we had no signal anywhere, we went on long dog walks with phones in our bags and we just chatted and on one particular walk we discussed like our life progression mm. and where we wanted to be in one, two, five, ten years time. Yeah. Um, Our and dreams and ambitions together. And yeah. And places we want to go, places we want to see, things we want to achieve. That was the kind of the seed of it. I have been ready for a couple of years mentally to propose. Um, I think if COVID wasn't a thing and we would have been freer to travel and things like that, I would have done it. Somewhere like New York or Rome, I've always kind of imagined doing it. But I never had the vision of like the surprise element. I wanted to experience everything together. I wanted to plan things. I wanted to, not just like an hour of surprise and oh my God, oh my God, it's happening. Mm. I wanted that five weeks to go, one week to go, tomorrow we're going to go fly up to wherever. And then even when we're at that place, then looking forward to it, rather than me checking my bag or the safe or whatever, constantly thinking, mm. I hope she doesn't find it, saying, oh, we've got to be here at this time because of what I know, I don't think it would have been us. I think this way was perfect. After we went to Wales, Benji mentioned very loosely. <laughs> I said, <laughs> so don't break yourself. You said, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> but go what's your go. ring size? Yeah. Because you were in London for an event or something. I said, oh, while you're up there, just go and get your ring size. Um, so I did, and I honestly didn't get didn't get my hopes up too high because I knew that this day would obviously come eventually, and I truthfully thought, okay, well, I'll just go and have a look. And you'd waited for four and a half years, so it's another year or so. Well, we, <laughs> we weren't in a major rush, and I always trusted that Benji would do an amazing job. And and at that point, we couldn't travel anyway. Yeah, I went and got the ring sized, and then a few weeks after that, we were actually back up in London for Frozen the Musical. Mm -hmm. And right when we were waiting for the show, there was a beautiful uh, jewellers. So we went in, we had a always, little look. We always play the game of like, whenever we walk past the jewellers, we'll say, what ring would you have? And Brogan would be like, oh, what, what watch would you have? So I knew exactly what I wanted and also what you wanted and it was exactly the same. Yeah, we both, do you know what? For our whole relationship, we've always had a like pretty similar vision for things even when it comes down to details of the house and like buying things and getting the dog like all the decisions big decisions we've ever made together we've always seemed to be on the same page but truthfully i always knew that benji would do an amazing job with getting a ring because he has the support of my mum and my best friend but on his own he would have honestly truthfully been fine especially all the things you've ever bought me i've always and loved and at the end of the day it's get what you're given <laughs> 
I would have loved it regardless, but we went in to just carry on looking. We knew my size now, so Benji was starting to get like a little bit more excited about looking at the rings, and we tried one on, and it was so beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. And <laughs> it was like 40 grand. It's 30. And then I it was, was all like, get it off. <laughs> it was, Not a chance. It was huge, but it was so amazing. So we were like, okay, this is clearly an area we are not knowledgeable about. And when we were in there, there was a couple in like a private area get it designing their own ring and that's something that hadn't even crossed my mind i just thought the whole process was you go into a jeweler's like yeah you might have a bit of research and look roughly what you want but you then find it and buy it mm. i didn't even think about the option of designing it picking the actual diamonds picking the settings picking so that the, just the couple was sat there with a glass of champagne each and yeah, they looked so suited happy and booted, and she was in like an evening dress yeah and we looked at them and we looked at each other and we were like that's wow us. that's such an amazing experience like why did we not think of that so mm -hmm. we got on the phone to my mum i think the next day we spoke about it we like planned it in our heads for like well to each other for like two hours on the train home yeah and then it might have even been that night or the morning after or whatever because we, we talked a lot about about how much pressure there is on the partner picking a ring and getting it right because it's something that you wear every single day but for I the rest of your life. I wouldn't want you to buy me a, a watch. I'd want the say in that, so why would it be any different for a ring? The mm. fact that Benji basically said to me, that experience looks so lovely, why don't we do it together as well? So I truly honestly felt really honored that you wanted to include me in the process of picking it. And I know a lot of couples, um, they they do it together later down the line or like some people propose with like a, a dummy, dummy ring. ring. Which, That's not what I want. Yeah, but you can do that. I mean, or yeah. some some people get a ring and then they change it slightly. So or a everyone- Or family heirloom that they get resized. Yeah, or... there's like literally, once you start hearing stories, there's so many ways to do it and no, there's no right or wrong way. But we did talk about all the options and then we spoke to my mum and my mum is really knowledgeable with diamonds. She's just like her hobby. <laughs> She's, she just knows a lot about diamonds and she's been going to one particular jeweler in Dubai for like 15 years and she knows the owner really well and she traded in her old ring. She bought me a beautiful ring for my 21st birthday and we phoned her and said, do you think we're a bit crazy to do the ring together? <laughs> and because we were just pl planning on going into the place in London, buying it and then going somewhere. Mm. And she said, well, have you ever thought about going to get it in Dubai, where we, she'd been a few times, uh, she's been Lots, yeah. whilst I've been with you. Yeah. Somewhere I've always wanted to go, but never thought about going there because other places we wanted to go. And she was like, well, A, it's an incredible store. B, it's great value as well because of mm. their taxes system and, and the location. It, like, the cost of diamonds out there. Be, before we, they get to the European markup, isn't it? We, so. we could get better value out yeah. there, basically. So you said- And also well, it's a holiday we've never been on before. Yeah. And so it would be a new memory. Like if we, if we did it in say like Florida, well I've been before, you've been before, we've mm. been together. I wouldn't want all the memories to get mixed up into one. So you we wanted, wanted to somewhere. go somewhere that was fresh yeah. that we could go back to. And it was like a light bulb moment for you, I think, because yeah. you, you could envision the experience together. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew all of the bits, but I didn't know how to combine them into one. And it one. just made sense. And it was like, oh, like yeah. obviously that's what we do. Yeah, so we'll put in some clips and you can see what it was like for us. We're actually going diamond shopping today for a very special sparkly ring. It all makes sense, I think, <laughs> why we've come somewhere so luxury and lovely and why we're sort of really making a whole thing of it and whole experience. But basically, yeah, Benji would like to get to me a ring today. Well, we're gonna go and try some, pick one out, maybe buy it today, I don't know. We're just gonna go down. It's the first time we're going to this specific jewelers that my mom goes to. It's called Cara. It's in the gold and diamond park i think but i will show you it all right we've just arrived this is the outside oh my gosh so we're just trying to get used to where everything is but it looks like they've got one here one there second side middle of the front oh yes yeah, so do you like the diamonds all the same size or do you no, not I'd think have one bigger one yeah two okay good you like think the same as me size. then so kind of like the top but smaller yes yeah 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 third box up that top middle. very top one up there yeah so a bit like oh see if i can point to it a bit like that yeah. we like so we have established already what we kind of like my yeah, gosh there's just so many good morning oh my goodness 
That is beautiful. Shiny! <laughs> I can't believe that I'm able to do this with Ben and that he asked me because this is such an amazing experience. Oh, we're well, on earrings, are we? No. Oh, I was going to say. These are loose diamonds. Oh, they're the diamonds. So that gives okay. you an idea of... I thought they were earrings for a second. Oh wow, so all the different sort of sizes, shapes. Yeah. They look totally different when they're outside of a ring, don't they? Yeah. He's dug out quite a few for us and some individual diamonds for us to look at because obviously here they're able to sort of design it exactly how we like. Wow, so there's really so many ways that you can have different These are shapes. Different, different shape of yeah. So at the moment, we're basically just establishing the middle diamond, what size, clarity, color, cut, shape, all that jazz. So that's the difference between a 0.3, a 0 0.3, and a 1 dead Carrot. diamond. So that's got a 0.12 on the edge, mm -hmm. and that's got a 0.25 on the edge. Yeah. So this is the design we like. So we're basically just trying sure, to sure. get well, exactly what we want. Yeah. When you diamond shop, you're basically looking at these things. So you've also got different um, graders: IGI, yeah. GIA, and HRD. Different graders. Yeah. And then this is a grading chart. So we're looking at around VS2 with a well ghi yeah. around there and we want round brilliant i mean this is kind of if you're money laundering as if you'd want this kind of <laughs> top top we don't top. need to be up here and the naked eye can't tell too much basically they are going to have to basically make it for us so we're basically designing it how we want because they don't have loads of trilogies trilogies aren't like commas apparently no they're which not. i didn't realize but we love them. Are you right there, babe? I have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's like, <laughs> for something so small, there's so many different... It's like yeah. a kaleidoscope. Alright, we've picked the diamonds. So that's the big one and the two little ones, basically, like this. And he's gonna build it. Wow. Stunning. That is beautiful. That's it. That's the diamond. That's the big one in the middle. Down to the decimal point on which size we go on. Slightly so different off of here. You couldn't imagine doing that any different than for us being there, as in because we got to experience it together. Yeah. I will try and convince anyone that I know that. That's the way to do, to do it. it because it's mm. such a special moment. I loved that whole experience anyway yeah. basically had a contact that we were whatsapping in the lead up to it and so we booked our trip at the end of last year and we spent the three four five months leading up <laughs> learning about diamonds Tag tagging each other on instagrams and sending each other reels of places we watched youtube videos in bed at night yeah. learning about diamonds and let me tell you if you've never looked into diamonds or you've ever never been ring shopping diamonds are really complex and they're complex and there's fascinating yeah the scale of the different sizes, colour, clarity, cut, carrot, the actual um, setting. setting of the rings. Like there's so many different elements and, and we started getting really excited at this idea of like, ooh, we could do this and, and then change when this. we saw things online, we were like, oh, what are the spec? What is the spec of it? Rather than just all oh, that looks shiny, it was like, yeah. and we were comparing things off and why is that more than that? Or why is it that bigger, but yet cheaper? and. Things like that. We learned all about diamonds. My mum told us a lot. We got a contact at the jewellers. They're called Cara, Cara Jewellers, and they're in the Golden Diamond Park in Dubai. I'll leave the details below. We actually uh, went to the jewellers the day after we landed. Because obviously it takes like two, uh, three or four days to actually make the ring. I think it was three days it took, mm. wasn't it? We well, picked... we didn't know if we would end up just picking a ring off the shelf because mm. they literally had hundreds of thousands of options mm. but they didn't have the exact ring we wanted yeah there's a couple that were like lab grown ones of which we just which we didn't want to do yeah um, personally again there's options out there our contact deep he basically brought out a collection of different options because we did want to see what things would look like on me mm. and we wanted to we the whole experience was about two hours long for us and he didn't rush us and we went down to like the point decimal on <laughs> the size of the diamonds we probably and... looked at 150, mm. 180 diamonds. There were so many. And they were so, so helpful. I don't, I I didn't expect it to be so, such a, even such a good experience and so mm. like, 
he didn't feel like he was selling us anything. He felt like he was genuinely helping us. Yeah. To, because we'd sent him like the rough spec of what we wanted, he'd already prepared like ballpark above and below and different um, configurations of what we wanted. Yeah. So it was just such an amazing experience. I agree. I really enjoyed it. I actually think it was better than we expected. That whole experience oh, yeah. of getting the ring together. And and some of our friends were like, yeah, that's so you guys. Because we have <laughs> such good communication. It's one of like a really good thing in our, relationship. Of our relationship. But yeah. some of our friends were like, oh, I can't believe you're not going to have that surprise element. But I truthfully, think, I just, I loved being a part I of it. I think because the norm is to do it a certain way. People just do it mm. because that's the norm and what's what everyone else is, does. And it's nice to push the boundaries of norms and yeah and it was so fun it was such an amazing experience like we both came away from it like absolutely elated i like, can't imagine doing it any other way i feel like for the person being proposed to male or female i feel like to be proposed to you lose out on the experience of well why is why is it that why is it you don't get that whole, imagine if you didn't have that two hours experience and I did that, it just wouldn't be the same. I would have had a lot of questions on why yeah. did you pick that. But and you were there, you were able to ask yeah. any questions. We did it together and so it makes it more special. So basically once we designed the ring together, it took a few days for it to be actually made and the jeweler sent us pictures of it and he said it was beautiful <laughs> and it was just such an amazing experience. So we went back a couple of days later, picked it up the day before Benji wanted to propose and then we put it straight in the safe. I tried it on briefly to check it mm -hmm. fit and then I didn't see it again and you put it in the safe and then now is the proposal bit. So obviously before we went out to Dubai, we discussed all the options. Did we bring the ring back home? Did Benji surprise me out there? Did you do it somewhere else? That like we literally explored all ways to do it. We didn't know if we wanted to do it necessarily in the hotel. Or we thought we wanted to do it in the hotel, but we were also open to do it, say, at the top of the Burj Khalifa, or if we found somewhere more special, then we would have done it there. But as soon as we got to the hotel, and as soon as we saw the setting of it, we were like, oh, this is perfect. We had this beautiful dinner on the first night at a, a restaurant called The Beach House, and the sunset was incredible. No, we, I hope you would have seen it. Yeah, yeah, we have a whole vlog. You can see how how it was beautiful. idyllic it was. Yeah. So. And also, we the photographer that we had organised had shot a wedding there like a month or two before. Yeah. So she also knew spots and angles and lighting. And yeah. So obviously, Benji said, "If we're getting the ring out there, how do you feel about?" me proposing out there but it wouldn't be a surprise and truthfully it wasn't important to me like marrying you is what's important to me and whatever was right for you and whatever was felt right to us yeah, you're welcome uh, <laughs> so obviously it just made the most sense as we were already out there in this beautiful setting on our anniversary getting the ring you may as well propose so we then decided well if i'm gonna know i might as well get a dress <laughs> and we may as well organize a photographer and you've been messaging her on instagram yeah. haven't you and um then we did a facetime no a zoom call with her to yeah. just talk through it all and she said she'd never done uh photographed a proposal that wasn't a surprise but she absolutely loved the idea and that she could really like play around with us and take some beautiful photos and we'd be relaxed together and i think that's what made the moment actually so lovely is because we mm. were both so prepared for it and like we got ready together think, and we had champagne <laughs> it was just so sweet i think that was the only even going out there everything in my mind was so like yeah this is exactly what i want to do i want to do it like this the own my only worry was that the actual proposal might feel a bit forced yeah because there's two people watching you i already know it's going to happen you know it's going to happen yeah but I don't know whether it it's, but it, it felt so right for us and the photographer and videographer. You, oh, we just forgot. We went sending a message to her, didn't we? Yeah. We, in the best way, we just forgot they were there. But that's because she's a professional and that's what she does. Yeah. So she basically just said to her, "Look, we did some photos beforehand, and then we went over to this beautiful spot that Benji decided this was it. It was beautiful. There wasn't many people around at all, was there? Was hardly anyone no. around. She said, like, oh, walk towards me. Now walk away from me. And then if you guys just walk along the beach. And then she kind of just went quiet for a bit and we were walking and chatting. She's like, I'll just stand there a sec. And we were chatting and... And she and just was, said, just take your time whenever you're ready. And then I was like, 
Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Is this it? And we were both in, we were both in tears before I even my knee even touched the sand. I started crying. I didn't think I would because obviously I knew it was going to happen. I started sobbing. He said really lovely words and then he put the ring on. Obviously I said yes. And he put the ring on my finger. We had a cuddle. We had some champagne. We took more photos and then we had a beautiful dinner to round off the evening. We were quite secluded where we were, but it was a couple of people that had obviously like walked by at the top of the beach. So we're going, whoa. Yeah, it that was, was really there was only like four people I think that saw it that yeah. were strangers So it was really really private considering it was a like a public beach yeah. It was a secluded sort of area and the sun was setting and it was just stunning the whole thing was stunning and we couldn't like Asked for a better evening and it just felt right, but that's how the story came about it was a long one really because we never envisioned it It just it, it all rolled into it, it felt natural and it felt yeah. like I say if it, it, it just felt right. I can't explain to you like if it just felt right. Mm. I can't imagine having done it any other way. Me neither. No, me neither. It's perfect for us. You got to experience every part of it. But it's not it... just the proposal. We had a whole holiday, a whole week mm. of being together <laughs> in that I bubble. Was... And up until we went, up until I went into hospital, we I texted you every morning saying. 31 days to go, 32, 30 days to go, and it was just, and we got to build the excitement rather than. Yeah. And we did tell all of our friends and family mm -hmm. before we were going out it was happening, which also was so unconventional because they were all a little bit confused. <laughs> they didn't know how to like broach it because some of them were like, congrats. Yeah, congrats but they were now all, and for later. Yeah, they were all so excited for us because the trip almost didn't happen, and then it did, and then they were all so excited, and the, the whole month. I think was such a whirlwind and then our actual anniversary came round and it was just such a lovely way to experience the whole thing and have that whole holiday every night we'd go like swimming in the pool and you can watch the whole Dubai vlogs if you want to go and it see the whole it, holiday but it made it feel even more special the mm. fact that we were going excited and then we weren't going and then last minute it was like it's back on let's yeah, go yeah and so it just I just felt so right. Yeah, I think, you know, nowadays a lot of um, people do know, they get a good gut instinct, they know they're going to be proposed to. Yeah, whether it's like and... me telling one of your girlfriends to say, oh, do you want to go get your nails done? Yeah, like, I and mean... And also, after five years, if I finally organised a holiday, <laughs> probably like, oh, five years, he's finally organising something, I wonder what's going to happen. I think you probably would have done it on a trip I'd organised, but you would have surprised me on it. I think yeah. that's how it would have happened. But there are loads of elements that, you know, you wouldn't have been able to control, like be, being able to dictate, like it being beautiful sunshine and, and a little bit private and getting all dressed up and having, you know, a photographer there. Like that was important to us. We wanted someone to have capture that moment for us and not have to worry about it. It was just the whole thing was so special. And I wouldn't I honestly wouldn't have changed a thing about it. Like it was really magic. and I cried and, you know, a lot of my friends were just like, what did it feel like? Like, even though you weren't surprised, it still felt really surreal. I think I was I felt like because I had never seen you get down on one knee and never like you know what I mean the whole I thing time, was like I, I had tied my shoelaces before. <laughs> <laughs> it was just special. So that's the story of how we got engaged. Um, we have talked about wedding plans and things like that, but we'll save those for another day. We want to enjoy being fiancéed, engaged. Yeah. engaged. Shall I come up close to the ring? I do have lots of clips of the ring. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Feels like it's ours we picked it it could have been anything yeah we we've been calling it our ring it, haven't we? we could have picked bigger smaller clearer not as clear different cut but that is exact. it's not like we went slightly blue slightly like yellow pawned, as long as someone's pawned in a ring and then it's been sold on that is we picked every single they part made of that. it so we just wanted to say a huge thank you for all the love all the support a lot of you have been with us for the last five years and a lot of you've seen from the first dates, the first holidays, buying our house, getting our dog, and le like all of our life together. And it just felt like the right time. It just, we're just ready. I'm gonna leave you to watch the last five years. We also have a clip of us when we just got engaged the moment after, so I'll share that next time. <laughs> it's well. like a, um, it's like a digital photo book for us, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, so there we go. <laughs> Yeah.
about the others You set my world on fire You're my heart's desire I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away you for myself every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire I don't know what I'd do without you You make me smile, what is it that you do? I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire I just want you I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just want you I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you Just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you Till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay Or take me away I want you for myself Every single day You say Oh guys, it was so magic. I was like, everything up to now has been exactly, we've nailed it, This is we did it for this reason. I'm so glad we've done it for this reason. Perfect, down to a T. Mm -hmm. This was the only bit that I was worried that might feel a little bit unorganic. Yeah. But I don't know if it was just, well, it was obviously just like us and how, how we feel, but also the photographer and the videographer they were incredible and they got us to do things like poses and things like that, that we wouldn't have done before and wouldn't have captured moments and yeah i think the actual engagement part would have been over so quickly but we got the chance to do photos before and just relax an and then yeah and then did some photos after obviously and just it was beautiful light the golden hour was so, so nice happy. and, and we've told all our friends and family and everyone's so happy for us but obviously most of them knew yeah. that it was going to happen but they're still and really happy <laughs> i think by the time that the first video comes out it will be pretty obvious. Not, well, not obvious but you know what i mean i think a lot of people have had an inkling i know obviously some people love tradition and i fully i would never tell anyone that wants to do it traditionally that they were anything other than do, do it your way but mm. i mean if you're thinking about it just do do it go for it because this was the most magical like stop it <laughs> <laughs> I just I can't I, I I can't imagine trying to sneak by I can't imagine trying to sneak behind your back number one no. I've never said a lie to you in my whole life <laughs> I would have given it away 27 times it by now it was really lovely and the ring feels so beautiful on basically we're, we're over the moon we just feel blessed and, and let, grateful also and let us know if you have any questions like genuine questions about the process about choosing a ring about things like let us know, we maybe do a hmm. video on it or we'll do an Instagram post or something like that because I, got I <laughs> fully appreciate that it's completely off the books and I'm sure people have done it before and let us know if you have done it like this before because mm. I'm interested to hear other people's stories. Thank you for watching this video, we're going to go and have a nice dinner now and we'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye. Bye. <laughs>